Item is item number seven, the draft safer Christchurch strategy refresh. I think Paul, you'd like to move that. Um, I'd actually like to speak to it too, if I could. Yes, yes, so I'll let you speak to it. Who would like to second the motion? Um, Andrew. Um, are there any questions? <coughs> oh, so you'd like to debate the. I just want to talk to uh, about the safe city strategy and how we got to where we are. I, I became chair of the committee in March last year. I uh, noted there were a number of issues requiring actually addressing. First was the uh, city had lost its safe city accreditation. That's the World Health Organization safe city accreditation. It got suspended. Um, second, we needed to refresh the strategy to make sure it was fit for purpose for post earthquake uh, and some of the issues we we're facing uh, in our environment. The refresh also allowed us to uh, look at restructuring the committee because I noted it just didn't have the right decision makers around the table uh, to actually drive the changes that we needed to see. Um, and we also wanted to strengthen the alliance and the partnerships which are actually quite important. I just want to also um, acknowledge that the Safe City Christchurch uh, Strategy is a city-wide strategy and it's not owned by the Christchurch City Council. However, the Council has taken a lead role in the implementation of the Safe City uh, Safe Christchurch strategy. Uh, it's actually mandated through the Local Government Act and uh, through the Long Term Plan 2015 to 2025. Uh, it should also be noted the strategy uh, complements the many other strategies and initiatives that have been developed to keep our cities safe. So over the next five years, the plan is to focus our efforts on implementation of a range of actions that will contribute to safe city, improving connections between those who are working to make Christchurch a safe place to live work and visit and collectively we can achieve results that will actually make a difference. This is why a number of one priority in the strategy is to build proactive partnerships that have a shared commitment to safe city. Um, I'd also like to uh, also invite you all to the re-accreditation which we will get back on the 7th of June and I'd also like to acknowledge uh, the staff who have actually worked really, really hard in particular Claire Phillips and her team uh, and getting this uh, safe city strategy on the table in front of you today and uh, getting our accreditation back uh, in June next year. We were the first uh, large or the largest city in New Zealand to actually get accreditation and, and uh, having it suspended was actually a bit of a disappointment. Here we are today, mm -hmm. new strategy, something we can work correctly with our partners and uh, we have a lot of partners uh, in delivering this strategy so uh, I'll pass it over to Claire for any questions. No, no, I, well, I mean, I asked if there were any questions, so I think there's I a lot a quick, of support. I'll support mm. it, but I just had a quick question around it. Mm -hmm. I can take it offline if yeah. you haven't got time. I guess we're busy. No, well, uh, um, yeah, I, mean, there was I, one I thought actually, that was the debate. I, I think, uh, Claire, we'd just like to talk about, there was one thing that was raised by um, uh, Yanni around uh, Sunshade, and, and Claire does have an outcome on that, so if she could just actually have the ability to... Say what she's done. That, that's that's fine. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you. Um, I spoke uh, briefly with with Yanni at then the break. Um, I've spoken to the appropriate unit in council, and they responded um, back by saying that this is in relation to sunshades and, and playgrounds around the Christchurch. That they're currently working on the Parks Plan Recreation Facilities Network Plan. Um, and they'll be considering uh, shades and, and playgrounds. That's a fair way off, so um, I've instructed one of my staff, um, the Youth and Children's Advisor, to do a bit of a, an audit of the playgrounds um, throughout the city and have a look and see where they are and where they aren't. Um, get that back through the Shed Committee as soon as possible. The other one was the swimming pools, the outdoor swimming pools. My question, Claire, and I perhaps should have given you a heads up, it's just how is the safe, this, this policy or strategy, how do we have it linked to other aspects of sort of wider safety, for example, like civil defence or certainly, say, um, commu local community flood defence um, work, which has also been done? It's, it yeah, well, it's 100% it, yeah. consistent with the resilience strategy, um, which we're working on now, that, that we're going through. So, I mean, it's that the consistency, that's what I looked at it for, was consistency. Mm, mm. Because, you know, I sort of have this this dream, ultimately, that we won't need a squillion strategies. We'll just have um, one strategy to rule them all, and um, <laughs> and, and that, that, that is the objective. But it's absolutely consistent with all of those strategies, and everyone's been involved. It's under that it umbrella. Yeah. No, that, that, that's yeah. good. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. And the same partners sit around the table. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yep.
So, but no, I think I think an excellent job has been done, and thank you, Paul, for the work that you've done. Thank you. Um, you you took up a role that um, that I wasn't available to take up, and um, you've done an excellent job, and and I think um, represented the organisation very well, but actually brought together a really um, powerful group of people to implement now this um, this strategy. So thank you. thank you. Great pictures too. Yes. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> yes, looking good. Yeah. Front, front, front pages, pages, so I shall put the motion. Front. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried.